I just finished up ordering everything in this Bulgarian McDonald's that we don't have in the US and the total came out to 32 euros which is easily the most I've ever spent in a McDonald's. And the worst part of all is the McCafe was closed so I can't even get any of these menu items. Yeah, you can see at this McDonald's there's definitely some things that you don't recognize especially having Heineken in the fridge because this McDonald's sells beer. And you can see at Mercy, it came up to 65 lev, which you cut in half with the US dollar, making this entire meal 32 euro. And our McDonald's menu is finished, so we're gonna walk this back to the apartment and taste what a Bulgarian McDonald's tastes like. Now that I have easily the largest McDonald's order I've ever attempted to eat, now it's time to head back to the Airbnb and see Bulgarian McDonald's top the rest. <laughs> Now in front of me is the entire Bulgarian McDonald's menu and I'm definitely excited to try out some of these things that I've never had before. But to wash it down, I even got a drink that I've never seen before in a diet Coca-Cola with lemon. Now the first item I've been dying to try ever since I saw it in the case is the donut. And super common in McDonald's across Europe is having mid cafes where, which are literal bakeries inside McDonald's. So let's give it a try. Oh man. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a quality donut. It's very chewy, but I love sprinkled donut, especially with vanilla icing, but it tastes way better than like something like an Entenmann's or even a Dunkin' Donut. This is definitely superior. For the donut, I'm gonna give it a solid 7.8. Didn't blow me away, but it's definitely surprising for McDonald's. Let's give this diet Coca-Cola lemon a shot. That's nice. Not as good as putting an actual lemon in there, but it may taste a little bit better over ice. Next up is chicken wings. Oh man, that is so good. It has the consistency of like a chicken tender that you'd get from McDonald's, not their chicken nuggets, because that's, that's an entirely different breading, but this chicken, it's really good. And I'm definitely not that person who knows how to eat the entire chicken wing correctly, but definitely a flat over a drum guy. This is rivaling KFC or Popeyes easily. I'm gonna give this an 8.8 .8 out of 10 for a McDonald's chicken wing. It's got even a little bit of spice to it that, that's coming out of nowhere. Next up, I think we should go into the beef wrap. Now this is like any sort of chicken wrap you'd get in the US, but instead of chicken, they put the burger meat in the wrap. So I honestly don't know what to expect here. All right, this is the first thing that I'm slightly concerned about. Uh -oh. To be blatantly honest, it tastes like they just cut up a burger and put it in a tortilla, which isn't the worst thing in the world. There's cheese in here, there's lettuce, there's Big Mac sauce, I can see a tomato or two, so it's not terrible. Actually, I think I enjoy this a little bit more than a typical burger, because you don't have all the breading, it's a nice wrap, I think tortillas are better than bread anyway except ciabatta. Ciabatta is incredible, or sourdough. But for the meat wrap, I'm gonna have to give it a, a 7.2. I, I would eat it again, and I'm definitely gonna finish this. Next, I think we should get into the chicken nugget salad that they had. Yes, and I said chicken nugget salad, and uh, it is literally a chicken patty on top of a salad. You can see that's an entire chicken patty cut up. However, there's croutons, corn, lettuce, tomato. It actually looks like a proper salad. And it comes with this yogurt salad, but typically I'm a balsamic vinegar guy or Italian dressing but I will definitely give it a shot. Absolutely no ranch though, I hate ranch, with a passion. Oh, and it definitely looks like a ranch-based sauce, so this is gonna go great. Okay, I'm wrong, that yogurt sauce is pretty good. And the chicken patty is definitely marks above what you would get in a McChicken back in the US especially. The McChicken has to be some of the lowest quality any anything that I've ever eaten in my life. But as you can see, there are whole tomatoes in here. Honestly, I wish they cut them up a bit, but for McDonald's, this isn't bad. I'm gonna give this an 8.2, this is this is really good. And we have a few things left on the table, but we do have two promotional burgers that they did have going on. And each one of these burgers is six US dollars, which is actually super expensive here in Bulgaria. And you can see this burger is massive. I'm gonna take this out of the box and I'm just gonna use it to cover my face because the patty is even bigger than the bun itself. Massive patty here. This is a patty that you see in commercials with tomato, lettuce, onions, the mayo sauce. This looks incredible. So let's dig in. Oh, wow. This burger patty 
tastes distinctly different than any of the other things that I've eaten so far, and completely different from a McDonald's patty. Oddly enough, the burger actually seems like it's charred. I don't think it is because I don't think McDonald's actually chars their burgers on a grill, but maybe in Bulgaria they do. There are whole tomatoes in here. The lettuce isn't really lettuce. It seems like an arugula type of salad, which is quite interesting because it's definitely not the consistency of regular lettuce. This burger is something that I expect at like an In-N-Out. This is, this might be my favorite fast food menu item from McDonald's I've ever eaten in my life. Okay, Bulgarian promotional burger. This is satisfying. I'm gonna give this thing an 8.5 out of 10 just for completely surprising me and just the overall size of this burger is huge. And next up, we have the second promotional burger, which you can see is very similar to the last one. However, it's chicken. And the chicken has actually cheese on top of it and below it with a full-size tomato and again, sesame seed bun. Now, the entire time while ordering these things, I debated about asking for no mayo, no sauce, because I really don't like any sort of sauces like mayo-based or ranch or anything like that. But uh, in Bulgaria, I don't know if that would translate over too well, so you know, I was like, I'll just soak it and eat it how it comes. So, let's get the chicken promotional burger a chance. That is not good. That is not good at all. I don't even have a napkin. There's no napkins in this Bulgarian Airbnb. That is gross. That is so gross. Ah. That gets a negative six. The, the scale only goes from zero to ten. That gets a negative six. We're not, I'm not even taking another bite of that. There's no way. Okay, let's get that monstrosity out of the way. And that leaves us with the final item and the one that I've been looking forward to the most, and you've seen it the entire time, the Bulgarian Happy Meal. Also, what's quite nice is they did include an orange juice with this, but they didn't tell me. So on the walk home, the orange juice actually ripped out of the bag. And uh, yeah, it caused quite a scene in front of a couple Bulgarian babushkas. And the reason that I'm struggling with the straw is it's actually a paper straw, which... I'm not sure that McDonald's does in the US. Um, I think it's it's still plastic, honestly. And they gave me the option of getting a boy's Happy Meal or a girl's Happy Meal, but I thought since, you know, I'm a guy, I might as well get the boy's Happy Meal, which comes with a toy, french fries, and it comes with a McChicken. And don't believe anything that I just said because it's actually just a cheeseburger. Yep, that's a McDonald's cheeseburger. A lukewarm McDonald's cheeseburger, which <laughs> isn't great. Um, Everything on this scale, five would be the American McDonald's. We're just gonna put it right in the middle. Um, it is quite hard to get worse than the American McDonald's. And this uh, this tastes a bit worse. I'm gonna give this a four, a, a solid 4.0 out of, this is, this is not great. Bulgarian orange juice. It's orange juice, eight out of 10. And Bulgarian French fries. That's actually pretty good. I actually really don't like McDonald's French fries, I think, Wendy's has the best french fries if they put some salt on the freaking french fry. Every Wendy's I've ever gone to never puts salt on the french fry and I think they have a quality french fry, but these french fries actually aren't bad. They're a, not game changing, but they're a bit better than I'd say in the US. I'm just realizing this entire bag, uh, the entire unboxing, which cost about 30 US dollars, which again is a ton of money. This is what this Airbnb costs, what I spent on McDonald's right now. And they didn't give me any sauce in this entire thing. No sweet and sour, no barbecue, no special Bulgarian sauce, maybe made by a babushka. I have no idea. There's no sauce in the entire thing. I give that a six out of 10, slightly better than the US, but nothing crazy. Wait a minute. Didn't I get a McFlurry with all of this? It already started melting and wasn't gonna make the rest of the walk home. And also I couldn't just look at it and not cry. Oh my god. So this Kit Kat McFlurry is larger than a standard McFlurry in the United States. And it also has Kit Kat pieces not only on top but within the actual ice cream itself. And something super interesting is they don't even do to-go tops or McFlurries. So Kit Kat isn't my favorite candy, so I'm gonna give it a 6.2 out of 10 for the McFlurry. If I'm being completely honest, it tastes exactly like a US McFlurry just with Kit Kat. And now it's time for my favorite item and least favorite item from Bulgarian McDonald's. And I think it's no shock to you that my least favorite item is the promotional chicken sandwich because it tasted absolutely horrible. Honestly, I wouldn't even feed it to my dog. That that may have been a bit far. But honestly, it's not great, especially for, I believe, the six to $7 price tag that I paid for it. That being said, the promotional chicken sandwich from McDonald's in Bulgaria goes into 
the bag of shame. Beat me with my favorite item from the Bulgarian McDonald's, which would be the chicken wings. Honestly, this chicken wing was a complete surprise to me and I couldn't really believe they had it on the menu because it's something that I absolutely have never seen in the United States. And this chicken wing was so tasty. Honestly, I think it's better than uh, Popeyes or KFC. It was just really honestly a great chicken wing. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Bulgarian McDonald's food experience where we tried everything on the menu that you can't find in the United States. And for next episode, if you want me to try something other than McDonald's, maybe KFC, Burger King, I even saw a Subway here, we can do that in whatever country we're in next. But until then, I will see you next time.